So the, this is the landscape when we, when we bought it. So we've got gullies going all the way through the landscape where water hits it uh, from a rain event and at ground level it looks like this. So it's, it's carved its way through, runs off the property. You get one heavy rain cloud like this and all of a sudden 23 mils is off and gone. It'll cut holes and actually dig soil out and cart it out down the road to the point it'll dig gullies like this along the side. And what happens with the soil on the side of the creek beds is because it's not supported by hydrology and it's all face, it actually collapses and falls in. So it ends up running out to the Indian Ocean, straight onto our fishing beds and everything else, and out it goes. So we started mucking around small shapes, even small steps uh, on a really small scale, slowing the water down, which caused all the nutrients and everything to bank up, the seed bank falls, and the next thing you know, you've got self-generated life coming through, uh, grasses start growing on the side of the bed, and you turn a system from this into this, and this particular place we called Three Creeks, uh, 2009 into 2017. So the, the whole ecosystem starting to function for itself, and it's building rather than and disintegrating, and stuff like salinity, which we ended up with, has all disappeared. It's all grass-fed now, and this whole array of water management can be applied anywhere, basically. And that's what we're pinning our product on. This is Carnarvon with the big flood that destroyed the prawning industry going through their horticultural area. So if you had the sort of work we're talking about by blocking it up and filtering, that water's not gonna have that flood event for one, and two, it's gonna be filtered and clean and it's gonna be spread and you've got your carbon production, your ecology's back, and your beef and your sheep production is gonna be much higher mm -hmm. and a better quality product.